thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Um, today I'm going to show you our most anticipated product for 2015, uh, the Guardian uh, 580X, yeah? 580X, the Guardian 580X. Yeah? Initially, we do not know whether should we call it the uh, Mini, you know, or we call it the Guardian or Mini or the Guardian because um, the, the reason behind that is because you will find out this product actually is the hybrid of these two yeah it's a hybrid of these two like this guy hybrid uh when you hybrid it you should put it under the mini line or under the guardian line so at the end of the day we decide okay let's stick it with the uh, guardian and 580x yeah so those who understand our x that basically you really can guess what kind of lumen we are talking about this is 240x basically this is punch up about 300 lumens uh 580x is yes you're right it's a 700 lumen plus, 700 lumen, yes. So it's a very, very bright uh, floodlight. Yeah? Do not judge uh, its size. It's very, very small, very, very light, very, very thin. Okay? Uh, the reason behind that is because we want to make it very thin, very light, so that uh, it's easy for you to mount. Yeah? So uh, again, this whole thing is made of cast iron. No longer plastic, but this cast iron. Uh, you know, steel and very, very high quality and high end. Yeah, we put in a lot of things just because we want to follow this guy. All right, class iron. Okay, uh, LED put it at the four LED. The LED used for this guy, the LED they are set. Uh, those have used our LED before uh, know that our LED is very, very powerful LED and is a very efficient. Yeah, it's not like powerful in the term of not lumen per watt is high. This is a very high lumen per watt kind of technology. We are talking about 150 lumen per watt, that kind of stuff. Yeah? Uh, it's not by the lab. Yeah? It's not measured based on the lab. It's measured on the real life application. Yeah? So it's something like higher than 150 lumen per watt. So that uh, 84 like this guy, LED here, it will give you full power mode. It will give you uh, 700 lumen yeah 700 lumen man is crazy imagine this one is only 300 this is 700 lumen yeah um, I will move to the next one is basically like I say these two are hybrid okay uh, when it hybrid you are talking about a sensor already that basically is a motion sensor or sensor control technology just like this guy uh, everybody love this design, uh, especially the logo, you know, the sensor it can rotate inside like an eye. Um, that's why we take from the industrial best, the industrial best practice, whatever we have from the industrial, and we're going to make it into a consumer product, alright? So we take this guy out, alright, we make it into a very, very small casing of a sensor, okay? This is a uh, PRI, motion uh, sensor, yeah? Compared to this guy last time, uh, it's very big. This guy has become very small. Again, I want to stress is do not judge its size. It's small doesn't mean it's not effective. Just to share with you, this guy is, uh, the old sensor is roughly about 8 to 10 meter kind of range. And this new guy is 10 to 15 meter kind of range. The reason is not because of the size, it's because of the lens. Uh, we have improved the lens, okay, high quality lens here. Uh, basically, if you go and study a bit on the sensor, especially of PRI, uh, passive infrared, you'll find out it's actually is based on the sector, all right, the lens of the sector that uh, detects as a motion. Those are going to be very technical. I'm not going to go through uh, to that part. Uh, but however, what I'm going to say is actually is uh, this guy is originally have been improved so that uh, it's smaller, easy for you to you know mount and uh, the range is improved and second thing is is a standalone unit so not like this guy uh, built into the third light but actually it's separate from the third light so you can basically put this into a target area you want to you know sense anyway uh, again uh, you can mount this on the wall like this okay uh, or on the ceiling sorry like this or you can mount it on the wall like this uh, with this two hole here but if you want to use 3M double tap that's fine uh, that's easier yeah so you can put a cable like this all right the channel or here all right so very easy once you mount it on the wall uh, you can use the ring here to adjust okay the location all right so you can again we adjust 
right? The concept basically like this guy. But of course, we don't make it into a, you know, got, a, got an area you like, like on law. All right, you can hide any place uh, you, you like. And then it comes with the uh, signature, uh, what do you call that? The uh, degree indication, all right? They will tell you which degree, uh, how you want to point uh, your sensor uh, going to be. So the, in, the, the degree uh, indicator, yeah? Again, uh, we get it from the industrial best, yeah? Um, waterproof, high-end, uh, uh, cable and connector and this one let's say uh, you need extension there is an extension uh, cable for you yeah so you're gonna have uh, you can put it very far away and uh, it will you know detect your target area okay uh, the panel we are very happy this time is because uh, we can use industrial grade aluminium panel and this is a 2 watt polycrystalline industrial grade uh, solar panel and at the back is the uh, battery compartment uh, we have increased the uh, battery uh, is again is a lithium battery uh, I think this day everybody is using lithium and because lithium is proven now is one of the best uh, battery right now in the market for uh, solar light and this is uh, we're talking about higher than 2000 all right 2004 to 2006 uh, kind of lithium battery depend on your country of location uh, certain country we find out um, you need more backup uh, we put 2006 of uh, lithium battery uh, 2003 milliamp air so certain areas such as Malaysia uh, we find out uh, a, lot, a lot of sunlight and the backup you don't need that long so we put about roughly about 2004 but again uh, we believe in this kind of size uh, this is one of the you know biggest battery compared to other uh, competitors out there. And again, uh, you can just press and then just turn it on. Yeah. And, then, and here um, you will see that there is the one is for the floodlight, one is for the sensor. Yeah. Uh, straightforward, like I said just now. This one. Uh, if you want an extension, there is an extension cable. But of course, uh, the stock when you buy it, uh, it comes with about one meter. Yeah. Uh, sorry, two meter of this sensor cable, so you, you don't need to worry about it's not enough long. So this one will connect to the sensor. Okay. Uh, the other one is actually is for the flood light. Yeah? Uh, again, let me stress a bit on the cable. The flood light. Uh, this time around, we use a very very uh, thick cable. Uh, not like last time. Uh, this again is for the e mini omega mo two. Uh, Mini Omega 2.0 concept uh, using a very high-end uh, cable because we want to build this product a very very high-end kind of product um, better waterproof connector and very, very thick uh, cable the reason is because most of you do cut back and say that you need extension another 5 meter plus another 5 meter like this guy if 5 meter plus 5 meter the losses is very great losses due to the cable uh, we understand that, so that's why we increase the cable thickness so that the losses will be less. But again, because this guy need to punch out about 700 rumen uh, based on such a small battery, definitely we do not want a, a lot of losses. So that's why we increase uh, the cable. Yeah. So again, you can plug this guy in. Uh, this is 5 meter. But again, like I say, if you're not enough long, you can add an uh, extension. But uh, I do need to warn you, uh, if you're too long the wire, of course there is a no matter how big or how thick your wire, they sure have some losses and these losses will definitely reduce the performance of the product yeah? so um, this is uh, undeniable and you can't solve this yeah? uh, this kind of thing is always uh, try to keep your cable as short as possible and we also have uh, you can get this kind of cable from us as well this one we call it the wild, uh, Y cable yeah? why you call it Y cable, let me show you uh. Okay, what you do is actually uh, you can connect this cable to the uh, alright then after that this wire cable will come out into two head alright so the first head you can connect to the uh, first floodlight okay lock it down and let's say get another floodlight alright so you connect the second head so you're probably thinking, are ah, we going to power two floodlight at one time? Yes, you're right. One sensor detected at 
certain target location and then two flood light will on uh, together yeah uh, why are we doing that is because the reason is um, this guy one flood light let's say you need a single unit you are actually punching about 700 lumen uh, we think is overkill because last time you remember this guy 300 lumen uh, you guys already said oh very good very bright already but 700 we're thinking is a bit a bit too much so what we'll do is actually if you connect in using a wire uh, a wire cable you can power two and let's say you divide the power into half so this guy will punch out about 350 lumen and this also punch out 350 lumen so 350 lumen is still brighter than this guy so then you can cover two area cover two area at a much much uh, lower cost yeah we do listen to your uh, recommendations say that if this guy can always on they will be nice yes of course if this guy can always on then this guy already out of job yeah we can't we can't do that is because if this guy is always on uh, you need a very big panel very uh, big battery bank so the best thing to do is actually is to follow a concept of the street light the street light is where, where I know people around uh, it will become dim mode and there's people around there's a full power mode okay the best feature of the 5x0x the guardian 5x0x is actually is the hybrid technology like the street light yeah so when no people around uh, one of the flood light, let's say if you connect in one unit, let's say just connect in one unit, no people around, it's going to give you a 55 lumen. All right? 55 lumen, let's say, I will say that it's nothing to shout about, but I will say that it's still good enough for a lot of you know, simple uh, kind of thing. But since no people around, all right, uh, you, you don't need that bright, yeah? but you still got some brightness, 55 lumen around. But let's say when motion detected, there's this people around, there's a car coming, things like that, you punch up 700 lumen, yeah? It's fantastic, right? Just a hybrid technology like a street light, yeah? Uh, but imagine this one is a small size and a very, very affordable kind of technology, yeah? Do go to our website, uh, SCORMA, or you can go to Leilong, uh, you can go to Lazada, or in US, you can go to Amazon, Amazon. Do check out our price of this product. And okay, the last thing I'm gonna to touch is uh, maybe about the uh, U-bracket. Uh, some people will see the U-bracket and say, wow, why wow, U-bracket mag is so big. Uh, this is the reason uh, why we do that because of some of the customer feedback. Eh? A lot of our customer actually is a, a, a female, a, a lady. Uh, most of them buy this is because uh, they love it and you know they, they feel secure or they just want to light up the garden. Uh, they just purchase it, and most of the time they do it themselves without the help of the man in the house. Uh, they did give us some feedback. Is actually most of the time they find out is they can't operate a, a drill, to drill a hole and and things like that. So most of the time they like our idea of using. Uh, 3M double tap and certain time when we see it is very funny is that just use a string use a cable or use a wire just to type for example the flood light uh, on the pole and, and things like that yeah so the reason why we make it a slightly bigger so that you can uh, put double tap so that it give you more strength uh, second thing is that uh, we put in a lot of hole uh, one is of course is our signature when you see a lot of hole basically the hole is simplified like a sun yeah uh, the another symbol of this is also is another uh, can use an application is because uh, it's useful or the hole is basically you can use this as to type a cable for example you want to type on the pole uh, you can use this hole uh, you know to type your product so that uh, you can be more flexible when it come to uh, installation yeah all right and of course this place can be removed uh, you can uns unscrew this and then take up the hole you need. Um, I because uh, this first video uh, is going to be uh, I can't cover a lot of application. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that uh, you can consider this video is actually is part one. Uh, definitely uh, we will come up with part two, part three, part four, and part five. Something like the street light. Yeah. The reason why uh, the part two, two, three, two, three, four, and five will be application. Uh, you will find out this product actually can be used for a lot of kind of application. From a simple house lighting to a security lighting, uh, you probably can find out this product is going to be used in gut house, 
uh, bus stop used as street light for example I will t show you a special video how to make this guy to become this guy yeah uh, in Malaysia especially we do have some small kampong area uh, small area where, whereby they can't afford to get this guy but with this guy of price they still can light up like a street light I will show you one of the video how to use this guy how to transform this guy to become a street light uh, and then probably uh, lighting in the public toilet uh, all kind of uh, application even like uh, in your house uh.